It's Wednesday, January 19th. I'm Natalie Morris and it's time to get loaded. Facebook changed a privacy feature on Tuesday after a new feature they enabled last week exposed users' phone numbers and addresses. The feature asked users permission for information when they downloaded an app. This request usually asks for basic demographic information like name or gender. It started to ask for phone numbers and addresses on Friday and then Facebook changed their mind about this and disabled it. Why does a developer need your address anyway? The government approved the Comcast takeover of NBC on Tuesday. Comcast purchased a 51% controlling stake in NBC Universal, home of the NBC Television Network. They purchased this from General Electric for $13.8 billion. Of course, the concern is whether or not Comcast will give preferential delivery to its own web properties, like Hulu, to Comcast broadband customers. They will be watched closely either way. American Airlines is on the outs with online travel sites. The airline did just reach a deal with Priceline to sell tickets through American's Direct Connect technology. Priceline agreed to this, but Orbitz and Expedia did not. Both of these companies have decided not to sell Americans tickets because they think that their new pricing and sales program is anti-consumer and anti-choice. Sprint smartphone users kiss goodbye an extra $10 per month. The company is hiking prices on smartphone plans starting January 30th. Now the cheapest plan on Sprint starts at $79 per month, bringing their prices closer to Verizon and AT&T prices. Starbucks will now accept mobile phone payments for your latte in all stores. The company does this through a Starbucks app that lets you manage and reload your Starbucks card. They tested this payment system in Target stores and in New York and San Francisco. It works great if you can find a barista who knows about it. Most of the time I hand over my phone and they wonder what the heck I'm doing. And finally, the latest magazine to come to the iPad is Playboy. The full catalog of issues since 1953 will be sold in iPad format starting in March. And the word is that it will be uncensored, which does surprise me because Apple usually does censor adult content. I guess, like so many, the powers that be at Apple read Playboy for the articles. That's your news of the day, but if you want more about any of our stories, visit CNET.com loaded. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm Natalie Morris for CNET.com, and you've just been loaded.